Welcome to Tales from the Outdoor Show. We'll ride the crest of the waves as we search for angling action. With a focus on key techniques, you'll learn the simplest methods for success. So come with us on our next adventure on Tales from the Outdoor Show with your hosts, Brad Deckard and Captain Kevin Favor. Welcome to Tales from the Outdoor <laughs> Show. And as you can see, it's we're, we're sitting right off the beach in some beautiful ocean water. And yeah. we proved today, Kevin, that this is the wild frontier out here in the ocean, my friend. Yeah, there's, Brad, you've known me long enough that, to know that, you know, I, I love to fish that April through September and, and, yeah, and, and, yeah. and go offshore. One of your favorite times. And, and, and because you never know, you, you That's right. really never know what's going to happen when you get out here. And today, and this show is going to prove that. Unbelievable. Yeah. Folks, we're, we're very, very fortunate that yeah. we're sitting here, we're laughing about it, and we're excited yep. because what we have to show you today is not only some great fishing, some great offshore action, a lot of bait, a lot yeah. of fish, a lot of action, yeah. but we had something happen to us today that, that in all the years you fished has never happened. Uh, I've never seen it happen. And, and I've never wanted it to happen. No, absolutely yeah. not. The great yeah. thing is we can laugh about it now. Could yeah. have gone really bad, really fast, yeah. but it didn't, and we ended up having a phenomenal day. You guys are going to love this show. We've got some great action coming your way right here on Tales from the Outdoors show. Either really small or just coming at me. If you say when, I'll... Uh... Yeah, there he no, is. I got it. It's just Spanish, I think. Okay. Yep, Spanish mackerel. Mackerel. <laughs> How about that? Couldn't get the big one in the box the other day, no. but that Spanish is in. No, got him easily. <laughs> I wanted to keep him alive. <laughs> Mr. Cobia. What we're doing is we're, we're, we're slow trolling live baits. And the most prevalent bait here in Northeast Florida is, is a pogey, Menhaden, Bunker. And we're fishing a real small piece of bottom. And, and what we do is whenever we go over that bottom, take a bunch of those baits and just throw them out. And, and you want those baits to be as alive as possible. And you throw those baits out and these fish will come up there and, and uh, they'll, they'll, you know, they're, they're hanging around the bottom, but those baits will bring them up off the bottom. And about 90% of the time, these fish will come up behind the boat. And you just have to keep your eye open behind the boat. A lot of times they're not, they're not on the baits themselves and you actually toss the bait to them. So it's pretty cool watching these cobia eat these baits. You take it out of gear right there, Brad. And that's the other thing that that you always want to make sure of, especially the, the worst injuries I've ever seen on a boat have come from cobia. And, and the reason is, is because a lot of times they'll swim right up to the boat and people try to gaff them and they're not ready to be gaffed. As a matter of fact, a lot of times on a charter, if a fish does that, I'll actually take the gaff and hit him on top of the head, make him swim away. Yeah. And people are like, why didn't you gaff him? I'm like, because he'd break my arm if I tried to gaff him right then. You want to make sure you wear these fish out. And we're hoping that the uh, the knot holds this time. <laughs> Who tied those knots, Kevin? Uh, is this Kevin's Kevin Favor special? This is this is this is my knot. I just want to know who to tease if they do break. They're not going to. Well, it's real light tackle. You know, most of most of the time when you're fishing like this, you know, you're you're, you're a lot of times you're you're king fishing, you know, and uh, 16 pound test main line, and then that. 20 pound test fluorocarbon. And that's amazing to say that, Kevin. That's the size stuff we use inshore. Yeah, absolutely. We use 10 pound with yeah. a 20 pound fluorocarbon. But when you're, when you're slow trolling live baits, 
it's got to be presentable. You yeah, know what I mean? Sure. If you Absolutely. use too much heavy tackle, right. those baits will not swim correctly. And you've talked about that. You've told me before that it'll cut your, your bite ratio in half Absolutely. by going with heavier heavier tackle. Yep. That's a good fish, that's boys. A, that's a nice cobia. That's a really nice cobia. Try to swing him around that side, Brad. How about that? Beautiful fish, Kevin. Yep. Right in the box. I ain't closing. Woo! Awesome job. a nice job. fish, brother. Awesome job, man. That's a nice job. fish. That away. That's drumming, man. Listen to that. <laughs> yes, sir. That's what we're looking for right there. That looked like a kingfish. I did not see it. It was dark. Not a very big run if it's a king, though. There's something on that. How about that? I got a blue fish. Is it a blue? How about that? It's a giant one. Could be a big Spanish too, Brad. He must be. He's coming in awfully easy. Small snake king, or it's a big, big Spanish. Big Spanish. That is a big Spanish. Big Spanish, man. That's awesome. No, it's not. That's a snake king, isn't it? No, it is a Spanish. Wow, look at that. It is. I didn't say big, I've never seen big, a Spanish. Big that Spanish, big. bro. Look at that. Nice. What a beautiful fish. Isn't that awesome? That is a long Spanish, bro. Yeah. Where's your pliers at, right bro? Here. Got it right here. Watch those hooks. Watch those teeth. Yep. Mm -hmm. We started off uh, the morning. It was it was blowing out of the west, probably 15 knots or so, and it was kind of rough. So we started off the, in the morning slow trolling. Caught one big Spanish, nice cobia. How many did we lose, Brad? Oh uh, gosh. I, I mean, Se just several. Several several fish. We uh, had. Uh, some equipment malfunctions. Not sure what happened. The, the line parted, um, but we're marking so much stuff on the bottom. Figured we would uh, switch up here for a few minutes and, and see what's down there on the bottom. So don't go anywhere. Yeah, he's got it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> How about that, Kevin? Oh. He, he followed it down after I tossed it in. That is awesome. Good job, bud. Out of way. Kevin, the incredible thing about fishing out here in the ocean is you just have to be ready for all kinds of stuff. It's, it, you, if you look at if you look at the boat, yeah, you know, it, it looks like a spider web. Yeah, because we've got every rod. Look at all the different size, kinds of tackle we yeah, got: yeah, size uh, rods, uh, size lines, we, size leader. We've got those rods, those big rods for bottom fishing. You know, we've got our trolling rods, we've got our pitching rods in case we see that fish come up to the boat, but you pitch the weight to him. But yeah, you have to be prepared for all of that. Because you just never know out here. You don't, brother. You never know There's out here. There's a lot of options. And it'll swim, it'll swim up to you when you least expect it, yep. won't it? That happened to us uh, about two weeks ago. And uh, <laughs> we, we had those bottom rigs. And I looked down, and, and a bull dolphin was swimming by the boat. And, and the guy did just exactly what you did. He reeled his, his bottom rig up. Yeah, and, right and the dolphin ate it, and it's jumping right here. Literally 17, 20 pound fish because he couldn't take drag. A pelagic fish caught him with a bottom yeah, rig and, on the and, way up. And I'm yelling at the guy, back off the drag, wow. back off the drag. And he did, he, he, he had the wherewithal to, to, to loosen <laughs> to it up and, and, and caught the fish. It was that, awesome. That's, all, that's fantastic. Yeah. It was a beautiful picture too. Yeah, yeah. It was, what a gorgeous fish that was. He's all of that, buddy. I don't know. It's really, really, really close. We're gonna have to. Uh, I don't think he is. Okay. Let's, well, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna let's make the call. Let's I'm make a, that call then to let him go. I'm gonna. Yep, that's fine. I don't know. He's close, brother. Well, I, I'll. I can grab him, and we'll put the sticks on him. Okay. Is that? 
It's 33 inches to the fork. Fish is very close. We don't want to gaff it and then put it on there to be 32 and a half or whatever. And it, it's not going to live. He's, I think he's legal, but we're, it's just so close. We're going to make wanna, sure. And we want to make sure. Yep. There we go. Nice. What a beautiful fish. Nice. I don't care what size he is. That's a that's awesome. Strong, beautiful fish. Awesome job casting of that fish. If you when you're looking at a cobia, people always wonder what hurts you. It's those right there. You see he's got them sticking up. He'll lay them down at times, but when they're sticking up like that, those dudes right there will cut you to the bone. You tell me when you're in the middle. Right there. Got it right there. He is I mean, I'm telling you, you, you I'm you, dead on it. I got the fork right there, and you, and you go to the inside fork. Two yeah? and three quarters. How about that? That's why we didn't get him right there. Be free, my friend. Yep. Grow a little bit. We'll see you later. Thanks, buddy. Thank you, man. Great job throwing to that fish. That was awesome. I love fish line. The ever elusive, endangered black sea bass. Handle with care. Something, oh. something. Wow, that's something big. God. You see that big flash of silver? Did you see that? Yes, I did. God. That was like kingfish activity or something, man. Oh my God! Whoa! God. Get out look out! Look out! Look out! It's a cuda! It's a cuda. You okay, Bill? Bill, yeah. just get away from it, man. Holy, Holy crap! He's still filming, <laughs> dude. Dude. Oh my God! Can you reach the gaff, Kevin, just to keep him off of us? <laughs> Holy crap! Look at the size of that cuda. <laughs> I've, uh, dude jumped in the boat. <laughs> I mean, in the boat. Oh my God, did you see that? Yes, I saw it. It went over my head, dude. I was like going, oh my God. I'm only laughing because we're all still alive and we don't have to go to the hospital. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, my heart's pounding. Did you see that thing come out of the water? I mean, that... Damn, dude, I've never seen anything like that in my life. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> folks, we're coming back to you now, <laughs> trying to get the, the adrenaline rush from our knees and our arms wow. and, our, and, and our elbows back together. I can tell you, I'm still shaking. I, dude, uh, I, my I, hands. I can, I can feel it. Yeah. I have n I, folks, I have, I've been fishing out here my whole life, and I've had close calls. Sure. You know, I've had fish jump and. But dude, that fish was in the boat. I mean, he, that was crazy. What you're gonna see when, <clears throat> when you watch this show is that, that Kevin had caught a fish, we're bottom fishing. Yeah. We had stopped trolling, we're fishing on the bottom on a piece of broken bottom, we're catching fish. Kevin catches one and you're bringing it back up, yeah, I, reeling back up yeah. to the boat. You're probably in uh, 15, 20 feet of water yeah. when boom, something hits hard and all we know is he's taking out drag. Kevin goes to bring you back in. Yeah, and well, he I loosen, launches. you know, just just what we talked about, loosening loosen up the drag. The drag and, yeah. and when I put the pressure on him, man, I mean, he launched right by my right ear. It looks like in the film, we just viewed it on the camera. It looks like he literally comes right over the top of your head. <laughs> you had to feel him coming by, and it happened oh. so fast. There's no reaction whatsoever. Dude, if he would have been two feet to the left, he'd have hit me right in the neck. It would have been really, really yeah, bad there's, because- there's so many things that could have gone it, wrong For those that. of you that may not realize at home, Barracuda are full of teeth, Whoa. big sharp teeth that they hunt with every day. And, and they are rascals not to be toyed with, and you've got to be very careful when we do catch them, because we do catch them when we're trolling. Wow. This thing launches in the boat. You can still see the carnage. Yeah, we haven't cleaned up. He lands in the front, he bounces around between the, the, the gunnel and the side of the, uh, of the center console. And he lands right across. There's still slime all over our fish bag. There's blood everywhere from him frothing back side to side. And we're just looking for a dry spot to stay alive because this thing is a toothy critter with hooks and and all wow. kinds of stuff. On wow. And, and as you say, you, you could fish a lifetime. And and hopefully yeah. for anybody fishing, that doesn't that ever doesn't happen, happen to them. To, no, you're right. Because that that like I said, unbelievable. If, if I had been on a charter with four people, there would have been two people probably sitting up here. It, it, there's so many things that could have gone wrong. It could, with could have that. gone wrong in a lot of ways. So all we can say is, is thank you for yes, looking after us. Absolutely. And uh, we're still living, man. Let's go fishing. Let's go fish. Okay. Let's go fish. Yeah. <laughs> Trout. Another. How about that? Why not? How yeah, about? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> how about that? Come here, you beauty. I know one thing, I'm going to watch my hands. Look at that trout. Wow. 
What a day. Yes, sir. Just another day here on the first coast of Florida. It's good stuff. Might be a trout. Pulled it out of his mouth. Yep, look how pretty that fish is. I pulled it right out of his look mouth. Look at that. How about that? Still got the fish jammed in his jaws. Aren't they beautiful? Awesome. Big old weak fish. What? <laughs> Gavin. <laughs> That's a big fish, bud. dude. That's a big fish. You better get him up. Oh, oh he got on. you in there. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? You got to tighten that drag down even more. Oh, my gosh. Can you back down on him a little bit? There we go. Yep. I'm backing. <coughs> real, real, real. <laughs> Good gosh. Got you in there that time, didn't he? <clears throat> He's coming. Hang well, on. I think we're just going backwards. <laughs> well, it feels good, do it. <laughs> oh my gosh. You still you on there? Go. I mean, you still got him off the bottom? I can't tell. Down and reel. <laughs> nope. Oh, Dad, he's coming. Got... Dad, gosh. Back off of him? Just go, yeah, just go left on it and see, if, see if, if, if there's any way in the world he might swim out of there. Son of a gun. Man, I thought you had him that time. I thought I did too. When he went sideways, I thought this is it. There it goes. Oh, he's out. He's out. He's out. Down and reel. Down and reel. There it goes. Come here. I got you, brother. <laughs> you won't believe this, dude. Giant snapper. Big snapper. I thought for sure it was going to be grouper. Woo. That's a big fish sliding in here. That was a wrestling match, my friend. Look at the size of that. That snap. was a wrestling match. Uh, That's a big snapper, that brother. That is a big snapper right there. Look at that. Wow. How about that, my brother? That's what we were looking for right there. Woo. That's pretty. Don't set that down just yet. That's awesome. <laughs> There's a reason we're the dominant species, friend. Yes, sir. But thank you, Mr. Fish. Woo! That was a great fight. That was awesome right there. That's a big, beautiful bottom fish. These are, are, are protected here on our first coast waters, so this one will be going back in. But I'm telling you, if you saw any of that fight, this is a strong animal down on the bottom. They'll, they'll grab you and pull you down into hole, pull you around coral reefs, pull you into rocks and lock you in and it's all you can do to get him out. So Kevin said, go go slack on it and see if you can get him out. And I just gave him enough slack to let him feel like he was free. And sure enough, he came, came up out of that hole. But I'm telling you, this is a strong fish. It was all I could do with all my might to get this thing up off the bottom. What a fun catch that was. And a beautiful fish. But one protected boy, these are, at once upon a time, were pretty good eating as I recall, Kevin. That's been yeah, a while. Absolutely. Yeah, great eating, great eating fish. Look, but, look uh, at me one more time, Brad. More, more importantly, a lot of fun to catch. Got him. Great Tales from job. The outdoor show. We catch him up, friends. In all sincerity, Kevin, <laughs> we said at the beginning of the show, yeah. folks, really, we're glad to be here laughing and, 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 and Josh and We all have our, our hands and our legs. And, 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 and we didn't have to hurry and throw it in gear and run for the hospital. Because right, it exactly. could have been that. When you have a fish that size, yeah. with, with teeth that voracious in the front of the mouth of a, of a barracuda, coming at you at the speed that it did, and that missed the top of your head by sheer inches. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> It skyrockets right over the past you, lands in the boat, and then it's still Katie bar the door. It's you know, trying to find- Where's it gonna go from there? And, and where, where was I gonna go? Because you two were, I was bound to determine, you two were gonna get eaten before you know, I was. I didn't see you like trying to protect us, like no. trying to grab the fish <laughs> off. 
saw it was, was you scrambling to the back. That was the strongest survive instincts reaction there, buddy. That was get on my tippy toes on the farthest edges of the boat from that monster. You, you that know, was amazing. You may never, ever, and I hope you never see that again. I but, hope not either. You know, Thank goodness this one worked out okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to have a fish like that jump into the boat wow. that you've only been fighting it for a minute and a half, maybe. You know, I mean, it's totally, totally green. green. Yeah. And, and for a 40 pound flying teeth to, to, to come by my head and land in the boat and then slide uh, that oh and by the way it's still hooked up to, yeah. the, to, to the rig and to the line the poles coming around the oh, side yeah. we're trying to hang on to the gear and each other we're tippy toeing around the around the edges and folks if you were in the boat you could actually feel the boat vibrating from it slamming yeah. side to side off the center Absolutely. console off the gunnels the, the great news is we're okay and we had a phenomenal day out of that. Oh, oh yeah. We caught a lot of fish on, by the way. I mean, Snapper, and, and you lost Grouper, we caught Cobia, we had Kingfish on, we caught Spanish. It was unreal. Oh, oh and a couple big trout. And a couple big trout, <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that, yeah. It was, it was a phenomenal day. It Once was. again, a great, great tail show. Yeah. Enjoyed fishing with you, as yeah. always, my friend, always and I'm glad we're shaking hands and not bleeding all over Me each too, other. Brother. Absolutely, it, folks. It was a great day. Now, maybe not on a day like today with a fish like that, but but get the get the kids out, get them, <laughs> take, take them fishing. Don't launch barracuda at them. I don't. We, we certainly uh, want to put an advisory warning against that. Yeah. But get them outside, get them in the water, and, and enjoy in safety some some great outdoor uh, water ecology that we have. Please make sure you join us on TalesFromTheOutdoorShow.com for all the great information we have. And also, uh, like us on Facebook, TalesFromTheOutdoorShow.com. Great being with you today, folks. We'll look forward to seeing you next Saturday. See you. We'll see you next week for more angling action on Tales from the Outdoor Show.